friends welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am nikki i am a homeschooling mom to an only child going in the third grade um today i want to talk to you about what i do for independent work for my upcoming third grader so if that is something that interests you then keep on watching all right so i know being in homeschool you don't really need to replicate the classroom or the public school room so a lot of times homeschool parents won't give what they call homework um to their students or their children um but i have come to learn that i can teach her and be far more successful if i also give her independent things to work on um this has worked pretty much since kindergarten so here's how i do it um i don't necessarily stick to this all year round we do take significant breaks sometimes um where i do not give anything uh for independent stuff but we do have a pretty good flow um or routine so how i incorporate it in kind of the flow of our day is all based on a daily calendar i write in all of our subjects on the side and what is expected of her so that her my expectations and her expectations are all in one place um and then i date it and if there's anything that I need to attach to that, if there's any sheets I need to make copies of in her curriculum um, that we're going to be using for that day, it all gets attached to this page. Um, and that is including her independent work. So I don't know if you noticed, but part of her independent work is she must complete 30 minutes of reading per school day um, of her book of choice and one hour of movement and that can be 30 minutes youtube um exercise videos 30 minutes of a walk an hour walk well, however she wants to incorporate movement but she has to have an hour of movement um every school day so i have one of these folders it is a c it's from cline.com i can have it linked down below but it is just a very easy way for me to put Monday through Friday. Um, we typically only school three days a week, although that might be changing coming our third grade year. Um, but anyways, these are just pockets um, for me to slip all of this information and keep it in one spot. She was able to make her own cover page. Um, so we have her complete a cover page every year so that we do switch things up. I do have two of these. I thought I could utilize both, um, but we, it's really not necessary. So her homework or independent work, whatever you want to call it, because um, we're at home all the time. So is some really cool resources um, that I have on hand. This changes all the time. Um, so I attach her Beowulf grammar, grammar sheets that she does completely independent from me. This also goes into her independent work. I also have this mind bender. Um, sometimes I'll tear a page and she can do like one a week. Um, it's a deductive thinking skill type, um, workbook. Um, I have, because I'm really wanting her to build a very strong math foundation, um, I have some Spectrum math workbooks. Um, so I just take one page for her to do per day from one of the books. Um, and like I said, I'm, it's flexible. It doesn't always have to be from this math book. I might have another math worksheet. I might have a game or a math game or um some other type of activity that i want her to complete independently um, i might have some discussion questions if we're doing a book study um, it really just depends but it's stuff that is building 
um, her independence in. So, you know, this is her math page and this is that other page I showed you. Um, so in her morning work, she is to be uh, doing her handwriting. She's usually doing one to two pages of handwriting. Um, she does have a gratitude journal, but it's pulling teeth to get her to put it in there. Um, so we don't always do a gratitude journal. Um, next year might be completely different, so you'll have to wait for my next year's um, video or like my planning video of how I'm going to organize all of our curriculum into a schedule and a routine. Um, so if you're waiting on that video, it is coming. I just have to sit down with all the curriculum and find out how I'm going to plan that out throughout the year um, and how the flow is going to go. And honestly, it's going to change. I hate doing any type of schedule. Um, but we, we have a good routine going. I just really need to nail it down with our new curriculum because we are adding on curriculum. Um, we are no longer using all-in-one curriculums. So there's going to be a lot of textbooks flowing around this table and we need to have some sort of order um, for my personal <laughs> reasons and she strives better with order as well or structure. Um, so that is simply how I add on independent stuff. Now, a lot of you might say this is busy work because it's coming from like their workbook pages, but here's the thing. Um, I do believe there is a time and a place for busy work. I don't think sitting here throughout our entire school and just doing workbooks is beneficial. Um, so I incorporate them in a different way. When we are sitting down here learning together, we are learning from the curriculum. We are doing hands-on. We are doing all the things together. Um, and then independently, it's kind of like she is getting things over what she just did um, and refreshing and keeping her brain going. Um, so I know that when we did our math curriculum, if we worked on a specific thing like money, for instance, I can go into this um, counting money and try to find a lesson that is very similar to what we just did. And she can get some extra practice to kind of really keep up with her math, um, which I find is really, really an important thing to know. So... Um, I just keep it simple. And like I said, this isn't every week. I do have several weeks throughout the year that we don't do homework. Um, or if I'm not feeling like going down here and separating it, she doesn't get homework that week. Um, I'm not strict about it. I do grade it loosely, um, but not for an actual grade. Um, I will mark what's wrong. I will mark how to correct it or I will ask her to come here and watch and we do it together so that she learns from her mistake. Um, but I don't necessarily make her redo it. Um, we just kind of conversationally discuss it. Um, and then other things are more effort. Uh, like these books to me are definitely more of an effort. So she gets a good old smiley face or a sticker of some sort for taking the effort to do it. She doesn't typically bite back and um, it's just part of school and it's building her for her future in knowing that you're going to have work someday. You're going to possibly go to college and have homework and assignments. And I need her to be able to understand how to do those things and not feel like that comes out of left field. Now, I understand she's only eight. She is only eight. Um, that's why she doesn't get a lot. And that's why her stuff is done immediately done after school. And then she has her 30 minutes of reading an hour of movement. So honestly, we're, her majority of her school time is almost like after we're done doing school. That she's doing like her own thing. And then she has some freedoms that she can choose from after that happens. Um, or we can take the stuff outside. Um, we're very lenient here. This is not like a strict, oh my gosh, this has to be 
this way forever done this way more worksheets more this like that is not my intent i do know we are homeschoolers and i like to keep it flexible um let me see was that all um i just wanted to give you uh a, a, to show you how i put all these things together i will be doing an updated one of this once i get all her curriculum figured out and what i want her to be doing for her independent stuff uh, for third grade. So that is it. Let me know. Do you give your kids independent things? Do you give them worksheets on top of your curriculum? Um, do you do anything extra? How do you work in your independent stuff? Do you do it at all? Like, do you have anything fun that I might be able to incorporate? Please let me know down in the comments. Give me a thumbs up for this video and please subscribe if you are new here for any future videos of mine and I will see you later. Bye.